Vlogmas day 16. I am ready for a very productive day of quilting. I love quilting, honestly. Even if I'm quilting to deadlines, I just, like I've talked about this on previous episodes of um, my podcast before, like really early days, but I just, I just love doing something that is like functional and beautiful and just like makes me feel connected to my heritage and my mama who taught me how to sew. So it's just, yeah, sewing, quilting on her machine even and it's by far like the most precious item I own. If my apartment's on fire, cats first and then my sewing machine. And after that, if I can get my couch out of here, <laughs> that's what I would do. <laughs> but other than that, I just, yeah, I just really love quilting, so it just makes me really happy. Hours can go by and I won't even notice that I've been quilting as long as I have. It's just, I lose myself in it, so. I'm going to get coffee and get something to eat, kind of like have those things in the wings, and then I'm going to finish cutting out the third quilt and piece it together and quilt it. So I wonder if I can get it done by today and then all I would have to do is bind all three tomorrow. That would be fantastic. The Sweet Sparrow Yarns Advent Calendar is Clara. Look how pretty this is. I've come so close to buying a full skein of this one several times as well. Oh, I love this. Ooh, an Earl Grey, my favorite. After I finish my coffee, I'm gonna steep this. Or maybe I'll save it for tonight while I'm quilting the quilt, as I'm sure I will be. <laughs> So I'm cutting out fabric, Mika is trying to help, <laughs> let's get started. It's 1 p.m. right now. I've been cutting for about two hours and watching podcasts. I'm almost finished, almost. I have just this little pile here to cut into strips this size. So I'm going to power through that. And then my second favorite part of quilting in general is up next and that's laying out the pieces for it. I really love color play in case you couldn't tell. Being a graphic designer, it's just, yeah, one of my favorite things is playing with color and layout and composition, so I really like that part. And my favorite part, of course, is the piecing of the quilt. But yeah, so almost finished. My back is like, ugh, I'm cutting out on the floor. I really need to figure out a solution for a counter height cutting table. There's just no space in this apartment. My bedroom, I mean, I only sleep in there, so I might as well turn the other half where I have my sewing stuff into a counter height cutting table somewhere in there. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, all right, back to cutting and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So I am just now finished cutting out my pieces. I am looking at the stacks here and trying to figure out if I should do a pattern that's a little more randomized or something that is like a set pattern. Having, doing a set pattern is going to require like a certain amount of fabric so I kind of have to use some spatial thinking here to like look at the stacks and see if I have enough to do the like exact pattern or if I should just do a more random one so I don't, I don't know. I'm just trying to work it out in my head right now. We'll see. Am I 
in love with this. It's like a, I just love the mixture of the modern composition and pattern with the more traditional colors and traditional fabrics that you see in quilting, especially like this like Americana vibe to it. I just love this. Oh, I'm so pleased. Hello. All right. Modern Americana quilt is a go. It is exactly 4.01 p.m. Let's do a little challenge and see how fast I can sew this top. It's got a lot of pieces, honestly. That's not all of it. That's just what I have floor space to lay out. So let's see. Da, 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 da. If you can't tell, I kind of thrive on deadlines occasionally. I think it's because I'm a graphic designer and I work to deadlines every single day. So I kind of, I like the thrill. <laughs> it's terrible. I know. All right, let's do this. 402. I'll check in. So it's 7 p.m. I'm about 75% finished sewing the top. I've got all of the strips done. That's the lengthy part. Now I just have to sew the rows together. So the top should be done, I would think, in about another hour or so. But I'm gonna pause to make myself some dinner. I have some sun baskets to cook up for myself, so I'm gonna do that. And yeah. Trying to decide between two sun baskets, I have pork chops with mustard apricot sauce and apple celery salad, or chicken breasts and parsley pecan pesto with roasted beets and oranges. Which one? I think I'm going with the chicken breasts and parsley pecan pesto. Beets just sound really good right now. This whole thing just sounds amazing. I must have either been really hungry or that was really good because I basically inhaled that dinner. Sun basket, y'all. Not sponsored, but damn, their food is so good. it's just beautiful. I love it so much. This one just makes my heart sing and I don't know why I didn't expect to just like love it as much as I do but oh uh, I my heart just stops. I love this one. <laughs> Today has been a very productive day. Um, I'm calling it a night for the quilting, and so now I'm just relaxing, watching some Vlogmases. I'm currently watching the uh, Soprano Knits Vlogmas, and I'm snacking on a few of these dark chocolate covered coffee beans, and have my Earl Grey tea that came in the Sweet Sparrow Yarns advent calendar this morning. And then I'm also adding some of the Sweet Sparrow Yarn yarns to my granny stripe blanket which is what I'm working on right now I love this project so much I've been good about keeping up with it I'm pretty sure I'm up to date and have at least one for every day of vlogmas I made I did a lot over the weekend of Julie's trunk show so I'm still kind of like caught up from 
trying to have one per day for every day of Vlogmas, so I'm going to add a few more rows tonight and watch some Vlogmas. Thank you.